Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV. Well, I'm going to show a quick video and, um, and we're going to have a teaching moment. <laughs> we're going to see what we can learn from uh, this particular uh, video. A couple of riders out, three probably, um, unless they were being filmed by somebody on a motor, motor, motor scooter or, or a car in front of them. Uh, here it is. I think I'll have a sip of water. I think I'll put oh. Okay. Before we get started, <laughs> a lot going on here, but before we get started, hats off to the driver of the car that was following just behind. Uh, the rider in the back was able to avoid the crash and get around the two cyclists as they went cascading down the street. So uh, whoever is the driver of that car, uh, an adult beverage of your choice on me <laughs> the next time we see each other, wherever that might be. Um, okay. <laughs> wow. Lesson number one, uh, group riding is, uh, is awesome. That's uh, one of the allures of cycling on any level. A group obviously capable of going much more quickly than an individual rider and it's so much fun to have a nice pace line going and you can really fly. Um, that being said, choose your riding partners very carefully. You are entrusting your life to them. So, um, have a very clear understanding of what the risks are when you ride in a group and how dangerous things can be when they go wrong. Um, when I was uh, racing and training with my teammates, we, we had such a great rapport with each other um, that we generally <laughs> arrived where we were going safely after thousands and thousands and thousands of miles and um, it was a real joy to to train and race with my teammates that it's something that's very hard to find uh, but if you do cherish those moments uh, and uh, um, if you do not have the same level of trust in the people around you and you haven't been riding with them for very long or maybe are riding with them for the first time and it's not a race situation, which most of people's miles, even professionals, are spent not in race situations, but out on the open road with traffic and obstacles. Um, uh, race situation, very different. <laughs> a lot of times it's every man for himself, uh, but the risks are understood generally. But a lot of times we don't understand what the risks are. When we're riding in a group, uh, friends or otherwise, and I can assure you it's very dangerous out there. So, um, lesson number two, <laughs> pick the moments you hydrate very carefully. Um, with one hand barely on the bars, uh, and you hit a pothole like the cyclist that fell first did, uh, it's not that hard to go down. It's... Uh, it's it's remarkably remarkably easy depending on the size of the pothole um, and my presumption is that second rider was following the rider with the camera and maybe the rider with the camera on the back of his bike did not point that pothole out so as he was putting his water bottle back in boom, he crashed and the rider following him crashed so be careful of where you take sips of water gradual inclines are the best also taking a sip of water when you're in traffic and a car is right behind you and is obviously impatient to pass, that might not be the best time to take a sip of water. Better to have a clear stretch of road and you're not going, you know, as quickly as these riders were going. Um, and you can see far enough up the road so that you can take a sip of water and replace the water bottle and have both hands back up on the bars before you get too many potholes. So that's a, that's 
a tactical lesson that we, we can all be reminded of and learn from. Uh, be very prudent and judicious about when you reach for your water bottle. Uh, number three, and uh, these riders have already uh, taken that to heart, got the helmets on, so <laughs> hitting the ground is a lot less damaging to your cranium when uh, you have your helmet on, obviously. Um, uh, what else can we learn about that? <laughs> um, maybe it's a good idea not to film everything. <laughs> And maybe if, if you are good friends with the rider that does capture one of your more embarrassing moments on the bike, on film, you can convince them <laughs> to not publish it on the internet. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it is dangerous out there, folks. Be careful. Drink when it's safe. Always wear your helmet. Be aware of traffic. And no your riding partners. All right, comments, subscriptions, thumbs up. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, thanks so much, everybody. Um, I'm sure there's another broom wagon handy uh, coming up soon. <laughs> Until then, or maybe wine of the week, or whatever suits uh, your fancy, let me know what you guys would like to um, hear about in the world of cycling. Thanks a lot, everybody.